Good morning, Grace Church. Happy Wednesday. Um, it's, a, it's a new day, which means that the Lord's mercy is new every morning. And so we want to just um, come before him with grateful hearts and just be... Um, and just be reminded that every day his love, his grace, and his mercy is so um, ready for us. It's so ready to be received by us. His goodness and his kindness are still overflowing. He doesn't change, and he's still pouring out all these blessings to us. And so um, may we come before him now just with open hearts, just ready to hear what he has to teach us today. And um, Duane the other day made a comment how I've been doing a lot of devotions from the Psalms and I I have just been really enjoying the Psalms so I hope you're not sick of them because there's a lot of them and there's just so much that we can glean from them and um, like I mentioned last week I'm doing a study right now on Psalm 23 and I I think I mentioned in the last video that I've never actually um, done a study before in Psalm 23 but um, I'm working through uh, the book from Jennifer Rothschild and she is just incredible um, she's just been opening, she has been allowing the Lord to open my eyes to see different things about this passage that I've just never recognized before. And so um, the verse that we were studying last week was verse 4 that says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And that, I would say, is like one of the most popular verses in the whole Bible, maybe aside from John 3.16. But um, just the idea of walking through the valley of the shadow of death and not fearing because the Lord is with us, that is an incredible thing to just understand. And during one of the days of homework, she was talking about um, the idea of walking through the valley versus living in the valley. And uh, in my small group last night, we just had such a great discussion of what it looks like to walk through it rather than live in it. And um, we were just talking about how um, it's easy to just get comfortable and just to live in our our weaknesses, our challenges, the battles that we're facing. And I think um, it's so difficult sometimes to continually wake up ready for battle and put on the armor of God like it mentions in Ephesians 6. And sometimes that's a really challenging thing to do. And sometimes we, um, we, our actions, our behaviors reflect that we are living in the valley, not walking through it. And so we were just talking yesterday about how, um, how we need, how as followers, we need to be, um, moving forward, regardless of how fast you're going, regardless of, of um, how far you go in a, in a certain day or whatnot, we just need to be moving forward. And our attitude has to be, okay, Lord, today I will wake up and I choose to continue to walk through this valley. Whether it's a personal battle that you're facing, it could be a battle of grief or of loss or a, a battle of... Um, just disappointment or something that's just been building up like who knows what it is that you're going through who knows what valley you're facing but the Lord just wants us to surrender to him to trust him to be obedient to him and um, yeah we were just talking about how um, even if you wake up and you say Lord I want to move one centimeter forward like whatever that looks like hypothetically whether you're running or walking or crawling or being dragged like as long as you're moving forward that's all the Lord wants and so so I just pray that we can we can know and trust that we are walking through this valley, that we're not living there, but that our attitudes and our behaviors would also follow that, that we would just be acting as if we're walking through this valley and living as if we're walking through this valley and have the attitude as if we're walking through it and not living in it. Because the Lord is just so faithful to walk beside us. Like even at the beginning of... Uh, chapter 23 it says the Lord is my shepherd I shall not walk he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside still waters he restores my soul he leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake and it's just so good to know that we're not alone like it is him the shepherd that is leading us the sheep through all these things and he's the one who's going to be faithful to do it because his faithfulness is unchanging like he doesn't change he's the same yesterday today and forever and so if he was in our valley five years ago with us if he was in our valley two weeks ago with us a day ago an hour ago he's still in the valley with us and he's walking through it with us he's making sure that we are not alone through this and 
So I don't know what it is that you're going through, whether it's just an individual ba battle, a family battle, or just this COVID battle or valley that we're facing. I just pray that we as a church can just be unified together and just trust that we are with the shepherd. We know that he keeps us safe. We can take comfort in him. We can just trust him through this time and we can just know that he, um, he hasn't left us. He didn't leave us at the beginning of COVID. He didn't leave us in month two or three of COVID and he hasn't left us now. Like he's still with us and he's still working and he's still teaching us things. And so I just pray that we would continue to be receptive to his teaching and continue to, um, to just desire him more and more and still just desire to um, recognize and have our eyes open to see his awe-inspiring acts. And so I just pray that you would be encouraged by this today, knowing that whatever valley you're in, you're, you're one, not in it alone, and two, you're not living in it. You are walking through it, and you're walking through it with, the, with our Savior, with our Shepherd. And so I just pray that we can go forth knowing that um, he is with us and that we are still moving through this. So I pray that you have a really wonderful day and that you just feel um, the Lord's presence with you today. Have a great day, guys. Bye.